step back in time to 1976, and y'all find yourself in the cinematic landscape of Bound for Glory. This film, directed by Hal Ashby, unfolds against the backdrop of the Great Depression, chronicling the life of folk singer Woody Guthrie. As the narrative weaves through the challenges of the era, it prompts viewers to reflect on the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Amidst the scenes capturing Guthrie's musical journey and the socio-political landscape of the time, one may wonder, is there a particular moment that resonates with you, leaving an enduring impact? Perhaps it's a powerful musical interlude or a poignant exchange that lingers in the memory. The movie boasts a spectrum of characters, each playing a crucial role in Guthrie's narrative. As you recall the diverse cast, you might find yourself drawn to one character in particular. So, out of the many roles in this cinematic journey, which one stands out as your favorite? Before you delve into your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this cinematic gem, consider this an invitation to share your stories. What scene or character left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? We would love to hear your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. Now, as we transition into some random facts about this classic film, let's set the stage for these intriguing tidbits. Did you know that Bound for Glory earned two Academy Awards in 1977, winning Best Cinematography and a Special Achievement Award for Sound Effects Editing? These accolades underscore the film's contribution to the artistry of cinema during that era. And here's a captivating fact, David Carradine, who portrayed Woody Guthrie in the film, learned to play the guitar left-handed for an authentic portrayal of the folk icon. Such dedication to craft adds a layer of authenticity to the on-screen experience. As you reflect on these nuggets of information, consider sharing your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this cinematic journey. Your stories contribute to the rich tapestry of communal appreciation for this timeless piece of cinema. So, dear reader, what moments, characters, or behind-the-scenes anecdotes from Bound for Glory have etched a place in your memory? Share your insights and join the conversation about this enduring film. Melinda Dillon's involvement in the 1976 movie brought unexpected twists. Initially cast as Woody Guthrie's wife, Mary, Dillon's enthusiasm for the project led to an unforeseen extension of her role. Director Hal Ashby, sensing her disappointment when her scenes concluded, decided to capitalize on her commitment. Dillon was subsequently cast as Memphis Sue, expanding her participation in the film. This unusual turn of events showcases the unique dynamics behind the scenes of Bound for Glory, where cast members' dedication influenced the course of the production. Dylan's double role exemplifies the collaborative spirit that shaped the film, adding depth to her experience and contributing to the overall narrative. Chris Christopherson, initially offered the lead role, declined due to concerns about his physical suitability for the character of Woody Guthrie. This pivotal decision paved the way for the unexpected casting of another actor in the role. The film's focus on fictional characters, with only Woody and his wife Mary being based on real individuals, adds a layer of creative storytelling to the narrative. Notably, Bound for Glory marked the film debut of Mary Kay Place and Wendy Shaw, both contributing to the movie's ensemble cast. These behind-the-scenes details highlight the intricate choices and creative liberties that shaped the film, underscoring the dynamic nature of its production. Bound for Glory stands as a testament to the unpredictable and collaborative nature of filmmaking, where casting decisions and character choices significantly impact the final product, making it a unique and memorable cinematic experience. Bound for Glory, the 1976 film directed by Hal Ashby, stands out as the sole Best Picture Oscar nominee that year without any nods in the acting categories. In a peculiar twist, all the other contenders boasted at least one supporting acting nominee, highlighting the unique position this film held in the lineup. As the cinematic spotlight shone on other performances, Bound for Glory forged its own path, not relying on recognized actors in supporting roles. This departure from the norm added to the film's distinction, emphasizing its focus on storytelling and the broader narrative rather than individual performances. Interestingly, one might assume familial ties in a film about Woody Guthrie, but Tanny Guthrie's minor role in Bound for Glory doesn't connect her to the iconic character. This deviation from expectations adds a layer of intrigue, showcasing how the filmmakers chose authenticity over perceived familial connections, further underscoring the commitment to storytelling accuracy. 
Amidst these nuances, the film marked the debut of Eva Marie Frederick. Her introduction into the cinematic world through Bound for Glory contributes to the movie's overall significance. It becomes a pivotal point in the careers of those involved, aligning with the unpredictability that characterized the film's production. In summary, Bound for Glory not only defied the conventional Best Picture Oscar nominee pattern, but also subverted expectations regarding familial ties within its narrative. The debut of Eva Marie Frederick adds another dimension to the film's historical context, making it a noteworthy piece in the cinematic landscape of its time. Richard Dreyfuss' potential role as Woody Guthrie in the 1976 film brought financial complications, leading to his rejection of the part. Meanwhile, David Carradine and Barbara Hershey, living together during the film's production, caused a stir in South Haven, Kansas, where they rented a home. The presence of long-haired musicians and film crew members raised eyebrows among the conservative locals. Carradine and others frequented a local ice cream, hamburger spot, creating a unique dynamic in the small town. These behind-the-scenes elements add layers to the production story, showcasing both financial negotiations and the impact of the cast on the film's external environment. Such intricacies contribute to the overall narrative of Bound for Glory, emphasizing the unexpected turns in its journey. The groundbreaking Steadicam, a game-changer in filmmaking, found its inaugural moment of glory in Bound for Glory. At the 100 mark, David Carradine, perched on a truck, seamlessly rises and strolls through a bustling migrant camp. This single, uninterrupted shot, lasting until 106, marked a milestone in cinema history. The iconic Steadicam sequence involved Carradine's graceful traverse through the camp, captivating industry insiders. Operated by Garrett Brown, the Steadicam descended from a Chapman crane following Woody Guthrie past a multitude of 900 extras. What appears simple on screen posed a real challenge for Brown and the crew. As Brown stepped off the crane platform, Grips had to deftly counterbalance the crane arm to prevent it from turning into an unintended human catapult. This achievement not only revolutionized filmmaking, but also showcased the technical prowess behind the scenes of Bound for Glory. The film's inclusion in the American Film Institute's 2004 list of 400 movies nominated for the Top 100 America's Greatest Music in the Movies further solidifies its lasting impact on cinematic history. In essence, Bound for Glory not only told a compelling story, but also contributed to the evolution of film technology, forever changing the way we experience movies. The Steadicam's inaugural dance through the migrant camp stands as a testament to the innovation and creativity that define the film. As the curtains draw to a close on our cinematic journey, I invite you to linger in the resonating echoes of Bound for Glory. This 1976 masterpiece, a tapestry woven with the threads of Woody Guthrie's indomitable spirit, has likely stirred something profound within you. Take a moment to reflect, not merely on the celluloid frames that flickered before your eyes, but on the chords that struck within the symphony of your own experiences. Did the film, like a skilled troubadour, pluck at the strings of your emotions? Perhaps it unearthed a dusty memory or kindled the flames of nostalgia. Bound for Glory is more than a movie, it's a mirror reflecting the varied landscapes of our own journeys. As you stand at this cinematic crossroads, I encourage you to share your thoughts, your musings, your personal anthem inspired by Guthrie's melodies. What resonated with you? Was it the ardent pursuit of dreams, the gritty resilience against life's tempests, or perhaps the subtle dance of hope and despair? In the tapestry of our shared human experience, your voice weaves a unique pattern. Share your favorite moments, the scenes that linger like harmonies in the recesses of your mind. Let our collective memories echo and harmonize, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thank you for embarking on this celluloid odyssey with me. Your presence has added richness to our shared narrative. Until our paths cross again, keep the flame of Bound for Glory alive within you, a flicker of inspiration that accompanies you on your own boundless journey. Wishing you endless horizons and untold stories.